All right, hit it with some. Oh. Dude, that was like a four pound bass that just jumped out of the water. What's going on, Cast King family? Today, we're out here testing out the brand new reel by Cast King, the MG12. I can say this thing is pretty awesome so far. If you're not familiar with it, it's a magnesium style reel, so it's ultra, ultra light, if not one of the lightest reels out there on the market. So to have fun with this thing, we're not just cranking anything normal out there, though. We're cranking a lizard bait today, and we're doing a little bit of urban pond hopping. As you can see, just got to our first location, looking really nice. Got a nice little water runoff here, so we're gonna start cranking this bad boy, try to get a good feel for this reel, try to catch some solid fish on this lizard lure, and have some fun today, so let's get to it. This looks really slick. Wore the wrong shoes for this location, clearly. But I'm gonna come check out this edge. Oh my goodness, look how clear this water is right here. I'm gonna try to just get some casts straight out from this drainage, this flow of water. Oh my goodness, there's a monster bass that just moved over there. Definitely should have cast along that line first. Let's just keep it moving over here. Watch out for snakes. And to be honest, I'm just gonna fish this left wall and then after that, we'll probably hit the next spot just because this pot, just because this pond's pretty hit or miss. I will say this lizard lure with ease with this thing, we got it dialed in. I didn't even have to think with my setup. I usually go open spool, break on seven for basically all my casking setups. And uh, that worked perfect for this setup. You can see, the, uh, the new grips on the casting reels look amazing and feel amazing too. All right, good thing about this spot is I can get a little bit closer to the edge so I can fish over this grass. I can also crank this thing all the way out there and basically fish the entire pond in one cast. I wouldn't doubt if this is the, the pond we're gonna get fish, It'd be this one, Look how clear this water is. Try to hit it with some, oh. Dude, that was like a four pound bass that just jumped out of the water trying to get a GD dragonfly, guys. Oh my God, I have a dragonfly lure I didn't bring. I'm so mad because this would have been perfect for it. That was like a four pounder, dude. At least two, that thing looked gnarly. I'm gonna try to get my, oh, oh, he's on. Yep, yep, he came after, he came after this. That's not the four pounder we're after, guys, but our first lizard fish of the day, guys. A little fatty. Not a big one at all, literally a little tiny guy, but I'll take him. There's another one out there, like a four pounder that's just blowing up, going absolutely crazy right now with all these dragonflies. So I'm gonna toss this one back in the water, get that liver back out there, and see if we can maybe nail that big boy. Alrighty. Don't wanna be like that, but there's all this grass here, we gotta toss them. Looks like landscapers are starting to move in over here, which is a good sign. It means that, uh, more stuff's gonna be falling in the water naturally. Dude, that freaking bass is just jumping out of the water over here in this corner. It's insane. I've never seen anything like that. Try to give it some extra twitches. See if that bass wants some lizard. At least we got one, and we know if the little ones will bite it, the big ones will too. Well, we should be able to get ourselves another fish, especially seeing that big bass. I might have to move start walk around the pond and attack it from different angles, but. Oh, we got one. We got one, boys. We're not even ready. I was trying to fix a backlash. We got the big fish. I was trying to fix a backlash. goodness i can't believe i caught that all on camera there you go guys the fish that we were after not a texas stud like we wanted you know not that four pound that i thought it was but absolutely everything of the big fish out of these small ponds that we have here i'd say this is about a two pounder and best of all we got them on that lizard lure take a look at that boys i cannot believe that guys i literally was trying to get a backlash out this guy just came up and smoked it solid solid fish let's get him back in the water though that was so sick as soon as it hit the water literally that was awesome. So I got third out there and I was trying to mess with my backlash and uh, he hit it in that split second that it was just paused on the surface of the water. The crazy thing is I got to the limit of my line like that. So even if he wanted to take line, he couldn't really do anything with it. <laughs> I had my drag open so he can kind of spin it and I can just spin with him. But 
Oh man, I got my heart pounding. It's always something like that. It's always when you least expect it, when you're packing up to leave, getting a backlash out, putting the poles away, have your phone out. That's when you get a bite. At least I know I have a little slight technique for this lure at this spot. We go over there where that other one's hitting on those dragonfly bites and see if I can get one more. He's sitting right on that grass line somewhere. So if I just drop it down. Yep, 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 yep. Let's try not to lose him. This is a good one. <laughs> Let's go, guys. This is the biggest one of the day so far. Easily the biggest one of the day, guys, and we followed that same rhythm of the beat. We uh, threw it out there after we got that last one, just letting it sit there. Gave it a few slow, slow, easy twitches, and he came up and annihilated it, guys. Could not stand that movement. All right, guys, we're coming to an end of our day. Really hot out here, but I will say that the MG12 by Cast King is an amazing reel. We got out here just trying to play around with this lizard lure. Had a lot of fun with it. Easy to cast, easy to dial in, and it's fun fighting for this fish. Super light, super agile. You can feel every bite, feel every bump, and uh, as y'all saw, it definitely handles this fish pretty well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this reel and if it's something you pick up. Also, we'll be leaving a link below in the description if you guys are interested to get on over there to castking.com and pick up yourself. But that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we'll catch you on the next one.